Spring has not been very nice for the Seattle Mariners bullpen with both Gregory Santos, Matt Brash, and now Jackson Kowar having some setbacks in their throwing. So today, the Mariners did something about it by signing 32-year-old right-hander Ryan Stanek. Hello, this is Jake from You Love to See It, and today it was announced by Mark Feinsand that Ryan Stanek has agreed to a deal with the Mariners. Ryan Divish said it was a one-year deal. At this point, we don't have the full terms of it yet. However, this is a signing that comes off of the heels of a lot of not great news for our bullpen pieces. It started with Matt Brash, who was rumored to have a big issue with his arm. Turns out he's not gonna need surgery. However, his throwing has been delayed. And then Gregory Santos started having issues with his arm as well. He is currently still ramping up his throwing in spring. It was reported by Ryan Divish on March 5th that Jackson Kowar was feeling some soreness out of one of his last appearances. And as far as we're aware, he was meeting with a doctor earlier today. We don't know the results of that yet. However, this move happening today kind of feels like it signals a potential problem with Kowar. And it was pretty much confirmed by Jerry Depoto on the Locked On Mariners podcast yesterday that both Gregory Santos and Matt Brash are most likely not going to be available for opening day. However, they could be available at the end of April. So with three potential relievers in our bullpen down, at least as of opening day, here comes Ryan Stanek who is a veteran reliever in the MLB. You may know him from his most recent stint with the Houston Astros. If you look at his baseball savant over the last three years, he's had some pretty decent numbers. In 2021, a 3.42 ERA. 2022 was his big year at a 1.15 ERA, and then an ERA just a bit over four last year. The first thing to note with Ryan Stanek is that his average fastball velocity is in the high 90s, and per a tweet by Nick Hawks, I mean, look at the average fastball velo in 2023 for pretty much all of our main relievers, we are throwing absolute gas out of that bullpen now. Stanek is just under Gregory Santos, Andres Munoz, and Carlos Vargas for that. Stanek has a phenomenal whiff rate last year at 30.7%, and his barrel percentage is a bit above average. Stanek's current arsenal is a four seam fastball, a split finger, and a slider. Last year, his best pitch was his split finger. It had a 189 batting average against and a 297 slug, and it had the highest whiff rate of all of his pitches at 46.8%. If you look at the velos of his pitches, he's going from 98 on a four seam to high 80s for a slider and split finger. And overall, Ryan Stanek is a really good piece to add to the Mariners bullpen to be that kind of fringe high leverage arm. I do think that once everyone is healthy, he's still going to be probably behind Munoz, Santos, and Brash. However, in the meantime, while Brash and Santos are down, he is going to be pretty valuable for us to start April in those high leverage spots. So at this point once everyone's healthy you're looking at a bullpen of either Austin Voth, Trent Thornton or someone else, Taylor Saucedo, Carlos Vargas, Ryan Stanek, Gabe Spire, Gregory Santos, Matt Brash, and Andres Munoz. As Tidane Gonzalez put it very well on Twitter, that is the f you bullpen. And I do think that the addition of Ryan Stanek as a veteran relief pitcher is going to help a lot because a lot of our bullpen are pretty young guys. So hopefully he can be a bit of a mentor for them. I personally really like this deal. I think it's a good signing for us, especially with the context of the Brash, Santos, and Kowar injury. We still haven't got word yet on Kowar, so we're going to hope that it is not a long-term big issue for him. But this is pretty much exactly the move that the Mariners needed to make at this point to really solidify that bullpen, at least for the starting part of the year. I do think that this makes us a better team going forward. But I'd love to hear your opinions on this Ryan Stanek deal. You can comment down below on that. Please like and subscribe to the video. I'd appreciate it a lot, and I will see you in the next one.